Welcome in the next part of my Angular series. Today we will continue to develop our to-do application. We will focus on the functionality to edit to-dos on the list and it will be kind of inline editing. To achieve it we will use ng forms and also like in the last video we will use output decorator for passing variables from the child component to the parent component but also we will use input decorator to pass variables from the parent component to the child component. First, let's add a new variable, which one would be used to hold the currently selected to do. So let's name it selected to do, and it will be the type of to do. And also we have to assign the memory like this. Okay. Now let's uh, generate new component that will be responsible for displaying new form when we select the to do. Let's open the second terminal and over here let's type ng generate component and let's call it to do dash edit like this. And here is our new component. So we can close this console and move to the view of our new component. Okay, so over here I will paste the form and we'll go through this and explain everything. Well, this form looks pretty much the same like the form to adding new to-dos. We are assigning the form to the variable to do form. And also we are listening for the submit event and we have assigned to this event the function and we are passing to this function the entire form over here. It's the to do form variable. In this form one thing is different comparing it to the form of the add to do form and over here you can see that we're using ng model and we are keeping the track of the two variables and it's the ID of the to-do and it's the task of the to-do. The result of this binding with ng model will be if we click the particular to-do, the input with the ID and the input with the name or the task will be automatically filled. Okay, so let's save it and let's go to the class of this component and let's implement some things. Let's start with adding the necessary imports. So already we have the on init. Also, we will need the input decorator, output decorator, and also event emitter. And a part of this, also we will need the to do class because we are working with the to do dos and it is located inside the classes folder and it's to do. And the last thing, because we are working with forms, we have to use ng form over here. So it's the ng form and it's inside the Angular forms. Okay. Now we have to receive to do. To do it, we will use the input decorator. So the to do will be provided from the different component. In our case, it will be parent component. So to get this to do, we have to use the input decorator and let's create variable selected to do, which is the type of to do. And let's create and let's assign the memory to this variable. Also, we will want to edit and after this we want to push out this to do to the parent component. So we have to use the output decorator and we will create the event sent to do to list event. And it will be the type of event emitter. And it will be the form. 
And also we have to assign the memory. Event emitter, like this, okay? Okay, so to summarize, we will receive the actual to-do from this input decorator and after this we will edit the to do inside the our form and after this we will push the to do to the parent component to update our list using this send to do to list event so our next step is to implement this function which is assigned to the ng submit event so let's do it right now and the name was sent to do to list and it will get the to do form which is the type of ng form and now using the send to do list event we will emit the value of our new to do so it will be send to do to list event and we want to emit modified to do so as you remember we can access the values of the form using the form object and after this we use the dot notation and value property like this okay so this is pretty much all we have to do inside of this component so let's save it and now we have to move to the to-do list component view and over here stay focused because magic will happen also let's close this menu on the left by hitting ctrl b okay over here we will focus on this section over here this one okay First, we will add the ngif directive to our UL element. So, by using this, we will prevent some errors. And we want to check if our collection is empty like this. The name of our collection was to do's. Over here, we are generating the ally element for the every item of our to do's collection. And over here, we want to assign to every element the click event and this click event will be handled by the edit to do function which one we will implement in a moment and we want to pass the to do to this function like this okay so let's save it to edit this function let's go to the to do list component class and over here it will be very easy function so it was the name edit to do and it gets to do which is of type of to do and now inside we want to assign to selected to do to do we actually clicked like this okay by the way declaration of this selected to do variable looks like this over here so we are basically creating a new object and also we should have parentheses over here i believe now let's save it okay so inside this variable we are holding the actually selected to do and we when we click one it gets a new value okay now we can go back to our view and now inside the ally element over here before the sp first span we want to add the div element and we want to move this stuff inside this div and this div will check if if we have selected any to do if not get to do and uh, when we don't have selected any to do so we will display that what you can see now so it will be normal view normal item of the list under this div we'll an add another div which one will check for the case when we have selected to do okay 
Now inside of this div, we will add another div. And now we'll check if the ID of this to do of the collection of to dos has different ID of the currently selected to do. And I will ex explain everything in more details after we implement the uh, entire view. And inside, we want to copy this content over here. Okay. Now, inside this ng if, we want to create another div. And inside of this div, we want to check if the ID of the if this ID is equal to the ID of the selected to do. And if it's true, we want to display the form to edit to do. And the name of our tag will be app to do dash edit, I believe. And let's check it to make sure app to do edit. Yes, so this is the same. Okay. Now we have to pass to our edit component the selected to do. So as far as you remember, we have the selected to do variable inside the edit component. So now it's the time when we have to use it. And to pass the to do object from the parent to the child component, we have to use the name of this input variable. It's this one, right? And we want to pass the currently selected to do. So this selected to do is the selected to do from the edit component over here. And this on the right is the selected to do from the to do list component. So this is this one. Okay. Inside of edit component class, we also have this output decorator. And this is the send to do to list event. And as far as you remember, because I believe you are very familiar with this output decorator, we have to listen for this event. So let's copy it. And over here inside the tags of our edit component, we have to use parentheses, which means event. And we have to assign the function which will handle this event inside the parent component. So we type send to do to list event handler and it gets the event. Okay. Let's go to the class of our list component and let's implement this function. So it will be somewhere like here. And the name was sent to do to list event handler. And we are getting to do inside of the event. Like this. Now we have to find the edited element inside our collection of to do's. So we use these to do's. And to iterate over the collection, we will use the for each method and we have to provide function to it. In our case, it will be arrow function. And it will have parameters like element, index of this element and the array. Now we have to check if the element of the iteration is the same of our to do. So we will use the if instruction and check if the element ID is the same as our to do ID. And if it's true, we want to use our array and the position of this element inside the array. And we want to update the task because we are only uh, editing the task of our to do's. And we want to assign the task of the to do like this. 
and the final step is to set the selected to do to null so the form will disappear i believe okay also let's save it so now let's check how it works and if we click one of the elements for example this one we get something like this and now we know that is something wrong with our view inside the to-do list component over here so as you can see over here in the line 13 inside this ng if we are checking if the id of the to-do over here is different than the selected to do so we are checking it with the entire object instead of checking the id so this should fix the problem so let's save it let's try it one more time so we select the first option do shopping and if we click it now it's okay so let's change it to play some games and let's hit the save button and as you can see the to do is edited right now great so guys we have very simple but fully functional crude in our application right now also i promised i will explain what is going here in this view so now when everything is working we will go through that very shortly so this first div over here is responsible for displaying every element of our list when we don't have selected any to do so this is the situation like we have right now okay now if we select one of the to do's for example this one we are now inside of this div over here because we have selected to do right uh, okay it goes actually like this if we select something we are ignoring completely this div and we are checking some condition inside of this div and those conditions are if the id of the to do matches the id of the selected to do we are displaying the form to edit the to do if it's not matching the id of the selected to do we are displaying the standard view and this is pretty much all the magic is going on here okay guys this is all for today if you survive to this moment i'm so proud of you and see you in the next chapters and also remember to like and subscribe my channel see ya